You literally can't even tell that I have a bob. Yeah, no. It's crazy. <laughs> the power of extension. Wow. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm 28 years old and I work in the fashion industry. My hair is the shortest it's ever been. Um, it's above my shoulder, it's almost at my chin. I've had long hair my entire life. Um, about a year ago I cut it short and it's been getting shorter and shorter since, so I've just wanted to do something different, so extensions seem like the next thing. Hi, my name is Crystal. Um, my Instagram handle is KM Makeup and Hair. I am a salon owner and I'm a Matrix Artistic Educator. So today we'll be doing a full install of Bellamy Tape and Extensions. It is important to come to a salon to do extensions if you want them instead of doing them at home because the professionals always know best. They would be able to tell you exactly what you need, the type of extensions, and they will help you reach your length goal. I don't have much expectation for today. This is my first time getting hair extensions. I know a lot of people get nervous going through a dramatic hair change, but I'm actually just excited to see what happens. So the process of putting in tape-ins um, would start by the consultation. The consultation is the most important thing. You would color match the hair, see what their goals are, um, what your client's density of the hair is, um, the length that they're trying to achieve. I like that length a lot. Okay. Do you like it like here? Do you like this length there? Um, I think I like that longer length. Okay. As like the first layer. So I would say like either 18 or 20 inch. If okay. you do 20 inch, we can always cut it to where okay. you would like to see it. Um, and then let's color match you. So you were saying that you normally get high Yeah, lights. these are pretty um, long roots for me. Okay. Usually I like to have like brighter blondes. And you do have like a thicker um, density. That's awesome. So what we'll do is we'll look at the swatches. Mm -hmm. um, we'll pick like two different colors because you do have like different colors in your hair. So mm -hmm. we'll make it look more natural. Yeah. So this one has a rooted. Okay. And I looked at that only because in the back you do have roots, roots yeah. back there. I feel like it like blends it pretty blends. good. Yeah. yeah, and it blends with like your base. Right. So I say we do a mix of those two. Okay. So we'll keep some roots in there so that way when your hair does grow out, it still looks natural, natural. with the extensions and then we'll have those really blonde pieces. Okay. That sounds good? Yeah. All right, awesome. Today I primed her hair by using the Matrix Total Results Super Clarifying Cleanser. This treatment prepares her hair for extensions and it removes all the oils. All right, so we did the consultation. We color matched her. We decided on the length, which is going to be about like 18 inches. Um, we shampooed her, clarified her using the Matrix Total Results length goals. And now we're going to go in and start the application. So we agreed on three different colors that are just kind of going to um, blend in her hair. We have a rooted extension because back here is so dark. And then we have two blonde ones that'll just blend in with her blonde hair better and when she gets her highlights done. And I'm just sandwiching the rooted one and the blonde one together at the bottom just to blend in the darkness. And I'm also gonna use the rooted ones on top so that way when her roots do come in, um, it blends really nice. The placement technique that I use when I apply tape-ins is basically going off the shape of the client's head and where they need their extensions to be installed. Um, also depending on the client's density of their hair will also determine how much I would put in and how close I would put the extensions in the hair. So I'm just going in and I'm brick laying um, her extensions towards the bottom and I think towards the top I'm gonna kind of get them in there closer because she does have very thick hair um, and it is a very blunt cut. So what I do is I place the tape on the hair and that determines how much hair the tape can hold. Um, but then I go back in and I just make sure that this is a clean line and that no extra 
little hairs are in there because if there's too much hair in between, like it could unstick. So I'm just going in and kind of cleaning up that line. What makes Bellamy Hair Extensions different from other extensions brands is that their extensions are like top quality. Um, they are human Remy hair extensions. And what Remy hair extensions mean is that all the cuticles are laying in the same direction. So that makes the hair like super shiny, tangle free, and overall they'll last a very long time. So the hair itself can be used up into about a year, um, but you do definitely want to go to the salon and get them maintained every six to eight weeks. So what we'll do now is we'll go in and we'll just blend your like top layer a lot into it and then we'll give you like a pretty face frame so that way this all blends. Okay. And then we'll cut some of the length. I feel that you should leave them longer because you can always go shorter, like if it is too much. So to get them a little bit longer than the length you want, because that way we can always just go shorter if needed. But at least you have the length there. Because once they're in, they're in. <laughs> I'm not really cutting your length, I'm just going in and texturizing. It's like such a transition, it's so crazy that this is like possible. Yeah. And it's not like, you wouldn't even notice. Like if someone that didn't know me saw me, I just have like nice long hair, yeah. I love it. It looks so I like am excited for the curls, but I feel like straight I love it too. Yeah, it looks you really know. good straight. Yeah. So in order to take care of your extensions at home, um, definitely brush your hair when it's dry, whether you're just gonna like rough dry it with the blow dryer or wait for it to dry. Um, and maybe just sleeping in like a braid with it or on some silk pillowcases and just being very gentle with your extensions. People are not gonna recognize me. No, not at all. I love it. Not at all. It looks like so good. And they gave me some long layers in there when Yay, I was blending. So, so cute. It's like, oh yeah. my god, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I knew my hair was gonna be good, but I am just so happy with it. I think it looks amazing and I'm just like so happy to have long hair again. It's been a while. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect when I came in today, but it was actually such a seamless process. Um, it went a lot faster than I thought, and everything turned out amazing, so. I think her hair looks amazing. Like, bob wear? There's no bob. <laughs> Just long hair, it's beautiful. <laughs> Obviously my hair is a lot different than what it was this morning. It's a lot fuller now, obviously it's a lot longer. Even when my hair is naturally long, um, it doesn't look this full and doesn't have this much volume, so it's really nice to have this. The most important thing Julie can do is just take care of them as you would your natural hair. Matrix has a great line to take care of your extensions at home. It's called the Matrix Total Results Length Goals. If you're looking to rebalance your hair, you can use the sulfate-free shampoo. It is sulfate-free, so it doesn't do anything bad to the adhesive. And if you're looking to restore your hair, you can go for the extension conditioner. It nourishes the ends and it leaves your hair smooth and touchable. And to perfect your hair, you can reach for the extension perfecter. It protects your hair from heat, it detangles it, and it moisturizes it. So thanks for joining Hair.com today at the Bellamy Studios in New York City. If you're looking to get extensions, definitely come to Bellamy. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at KM Makeup and Hair. And if you want to check out my beauty suite, it's at Lux Beauty Room NJ. Thank you, Crystal, for putting in my extensions. And thank you guys for following me on my hair journey.